Welcome back, everyone. My name is Elkmar, and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Dark Envoy. Where we looked up last Let's time, we were going. actually just on our way to this area. It's the place where the Oracle wants us to go. I did Sorry. have a small recording problem. We missed a tiny bit of the beginning part. Basically, we arrived, and uh, we're gotcha. supposed to go meet a person here who's able to tell us about the Oracle. And this is apparently where the journey will end. We had a minor audio problem. There's a weird like clicking vibrating sound that was happening sure, it was terrible I just, so I had to scrap all that and just let's look around continue on from here it seems to be working now though so we're gonna continue on our way let's get going. Uh, the main enemy here is elementals on. and they're not that hard to, I mean they do a lot of damage but we're pretty powerful now also, we might be able to gain a level. Oh, no, we're... Okay, so we did max out at 20,000 out of 20,000 at level 20. So 20 is the max level. Okay, good. I was pretty sure about that, but... Everyone, uh, please follow. Wasn't in 100%. Just pretty sure. So we're going to summon some things. Fingers crossed everything goes well in this particular encounter. I'm just watching to see if there's any weird audio abnormalities that happen. I think there's just sometimes too many audio cues going on at the same time and the game just can't handle it. Or my audio driver can't handle it, either one. It seems to be doing all right for now, so we'll see. One of our people tried to manage shields, so I'm gonna give her some more just to keep her from taking actual real damage. We're on our way to go see the Tower of Time, apparently, which is from the first game. I think it's the way we got here. I don't actually remember the la the end of that game as well as I should have. Sure. There's a, a little eyeball there called the tower. Uh, I wonder if I can hit it from here. Probably not. I wonder if there's a codex for it, a codex entry. Probably also not. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's just go take a look at it really quickly so you don't miss any cool lore. The lore is... One of the major things in this game. I mean, yeah, the combat system is pretty cool too, but the lore is. Oh no, I missed. I missed the. I missed two things down there. I missed the soul core, and I missed the eyeball. I guess we'll go down and just grab those real quick. Might as well. There's more of those stupid flowers that cause berserk and cause our people to shoot each other in the face. I feel like if you have sort of slightly wonky pathing sometimes in your game. You shouldn't have traps that you can't Look disarm. Look at all these ruins, Mal. They're so otherworldly. The grandiosity not even the Empire could replace once it strayed away from their cradle. Yeah. It's... nice. Mal's a little... less than thrilled about being here. Comforting hum of magic day. emanates from the imposing tower. You can see some of the walls of the tower. Yeah, it's a neat little place for sure. There is one enemy down there, but I just sure. don't care since we can't get any experience anymore. What's the point of fighting extra enemies? We'll grab the lore and stuff, and we'll continue on our way. It feels strange, being so far away from the war. I forgot how much I used to like exploring. <sighs> Mal's really not feeling this place. I'm gonna quick save. Should have teleported back up here. Oh well. We get to explore too, Everyone, just a little bit more. Follow. Oh, I'm still gonna click. A weird audio Sounds click. It's less than before, but... Still a little worrying. I guess we'll see if it Let's look fixes itself, hopefully, anyways. Mining- Oh, we're blasting each other into pieces now. 
Let's just heal everybody up while they all sure. berserk each other for a second. Good. Gotcha. Okay, there are several things here to kill. I'm just gonna open up on the lightning ones first. The airlord ones. That one didn't actually die. Go to though. They're all dead. Understood. Kayla, can you? Hmm? What is it? Never mind. Mysterious note: a piece of paper from my freshly unearthed box. Was somebody looking for something here? He cannot be a human. There's no way. Maybe one day, sure, but not anymore. No ordinary human could want Eric to possess such power to rescue us from the crumbling world like he did. I wish he would share more of his secrets with us, but he's reluctant to talk. And it feels rude to pry. We don't need to understand everything, do we? It's enough for me to bask in his glory. And as long as he stays with us, I feel we have nothing to worry about. What scares me is that when there will no longer be the protective- Why is my thing doing weird things? I think it might have temporarily fixed our audio problems. No guarantees it's going to stay that way, though. Something's going weird, but that's okay, I'll work on it later. We did find a mysterious note. A piece of paper from a freshly unearthed box. Was somebody looking for something here? He cannot be a human, there's no way. Maybe one day, sure, but not anymore. No ordinary human could possess such power to rescue us from the crumbling world like he did. I wish he would share more of his secrets with us, but he's reluctant to talk, and it feels rude to pry. We don't need to understand everything, do we? It's enough for me to bask in his glory, and as long as he stays with us, I feel we have nothing to worry about. What scares me is when there'll no longer be that protective aura watching over us. Interesting. We don't have Let's keep going. Day. There's definitely something here. Vines. But there's another piece of paper to our south. So let's go grab that. Everyone, please follow. An old journal. The book looks like a regular journal, but somebody paid a lot of attention to preserve it. The yellowed pages look frail but bear no tears. The leather cover has been meticulously patched up in a few places. Probably mending the worn out stitches. It looks like a memento passed respectfully through generations. After the initial shock went down, I decided the best thing to do, or the best thing I could do, was to help. There was no way of remaining in the tower for the rest of my life, after all. And the sooner I got out, the less time I'd spend overthinking our circumstances. To my surprise, this world, and it's in a strange way, not strange at all. The familiarity is hidden in places I wouldn't even look for in the first place. This leads me to believe that our arrival couldn't have been fully coincidental. Protheus must have known. When I embarked on the first run for resources, we encountered a group of creatures that resembled us in everything other than height. Oh, and the ears too. Way longer than those of a human. They weren't hostile. And after being asked, introduced themselves to be elves. Elves? Like our elves? No, they weren't like our elves. They spoke our tongue, but this was where the resemblance ended. Our lady must know more, and I intend to ask her when she returns to the tower. I wonder if this world has even more similarities to where we came from. Let's look around. I wonder if we're just in the past. That'd be an interesting turn of events. But we're supposed to go into the vines, apparently. Let's quick save. Guys, let's stop here. I'm feeling dizzy. It must be a sign. Are you sure it's a good one? Mal? Everything is fine, really. I know you don't trust her yet, but if the Oracle wanted to hurt me, she could have done so already. But now she wants you all for herself, Kayla. I... I believe you, but... I'm scared. I get it. You know, I never envisioned myself as a host for the Oracle, but some things are just larger than us. I am her now, and she is me. I learned to accept it. And don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I'll still be with you, Mel. I guess I have no other choice but to believe you. And her, by proxy. Let's go, Mel. Please. I want you to be there when it happens. When what happens? He wondered. Kayla, what are you doing? Who is that? It's okay. This is the person we came here to meet. He will help me in the Oracle. 
Are you... sure? We won't take long, I promise. She will finally be complete. I missed you, friend. Is everything going well? We'll be fine, Malachi. I shall rejoin you once I'm complete. Are you all right, darling? I'm fine, Basso. I think the one we should worry about is Kayla. I can handle myself. Of course you can. But it doesn't mean you couldn't use a shoulder to lean on. I can see you're upset. What happened? I... I don't know. I'm sorry, Vasa. I'm just really mad and... terrified. It, it, it crushes me how everyone seems to be taking it all so well. Kayla, Oracle, tells me just to carry on. Let her do her thing. There's, there's now some guy who just appeared out of nowhere and... All right, hold on, sweetheart. I understand. You're under a lot of pressure. Both of you are. I'm just... I feel like we're drifting apart. I don't know if I have enough strength to shoulder it all without her. We are all here for you. You are not alone, Malachi. I don't know what to say, Basso. Really. I, uh, I started to get used to being self-reliant after our parents died, but it's nice not to be that sometimes. It takes a lot off my shoulders. I forgot how it feels. Is, is everything all right? Yes. The process is complete. Kayla is well and safe. Now my memories are unlocked, she has retreated to make space for me to operate. I thought she would wish to speak with you, but she was content to rest for now. Let her rest. I trust you will take care of her. I'm glad to hear that, Malachi. What happened when you were gone? You've left for quite some time, my lady. An old friend came to lend me a hand. He assisted me when I was fractured and incomplete. Now I am whole again. We have said farewell for now. But that is not relevant. Now, I need to tell you about the danger we face. We're listening, Oracle. The Claw and the Hybrids are all servants of the creature they call the Chained One. A voracious invader from another world. One of many of his kind, known as the Organte. We've been studying them, but there's still much we don't know. They resemble nothing we've ever seen. Far surpassing the strongest of our universe in power, they seem to pursue only one goal. To consume everything. To satiate their incomprehensible hunger. They are not just a threat to this planet, but every planet, and every known life form in this universe, and countless others. My lady, but how do you know all of this? I arrived here together with humans. We came from a world that was devoured by an organte. But how? Can they truly travel between worlds? The organte offered humans a glimpse of power, of a better future, magic that they hadn't possessed before. It was a trap that allowed the organte a doorway to our universe like a spider that dissolves its prey, spitting venom into the cocoon. That venom, Organte's gift, magic, it allowed to weaken the barriers of that universe. Only through the bravery and sacrifice of a group of heroes were we able to survive so that we may rebuild and warn others. So, are you trying to tell us that we're making the same mistake? Is Organte's magic already here? While the Organte chained here is greatly weakened, you have already seen what a fraction of its power has been able to achieve. The Claw wants to release it from its bindings after centuries of starvation. I believe you understand the gravity of the situation. 
Come now. I'll explain more on the way. There's one more thing we need to fetch while we're here. Already? Does she have better powers now that she's all... Let's get going. Oracle-y? Probably not, right? That'd be weird. Just a little walk. Alright, let's uh, grab that. This says, statue of a man. He looks like a seasoned Everyone, warrior. Please follow. Sure, why not? Statue of a woman holding a magnificent bow. Sounds interesting. Hmm. Find the Oracle's artifact is our next little objective. So let's go see if we can. It's just over here, apparently. Any anyone knows a teleporter? Never mind. That's not. The artifact itself, that's a way to another art teleport. Probably to a battle. I'm guessing we're going to have some sort of fight to do. And a cutscene, apparently. Hey, Oracle, wait. Can I ask you something? Go ahead, Malachi. What bothers you? The chain one. Why the name? Do you know anything about this particular Organthe? Is it the same one that attacked you before, or... Oh, okay, yeah, that's a lot of questions, actually. If you didn't ask, I would. We need to know more. After arriving in Jan, a friend of mine you met today helped me to convince the dominant race of this world to aid us in our research of the Organte. Using our power and their advanced technology, we were able to partially summon one of them to this world and trap it. Wait, hold on. The Ancients? You've brought the world of our monster here together with the Ancients. We needed to study one for weaknesses and tried to find a way to fight them. This was the only way we could do so. Its imprisonment is directly tied to my existence on this planet, though during my absence, the chains must have weakened. No, wait, wait, hold up. That's a, that's a lot to unpack, you know. We spent our whole lives surrounded by ancient ruins, and we knew nothing of that. We thought they were long gone by the time- Most of them left this world in search of allies advanced enough to join the fight against the Organte. The ones who remained fell victim to the whispers of the Chained One. They needed to be put down. Now. To deal with the Organte, we'll need to recover the device I used to summon it. It's not far from here. Shall we proceed? Um, yeah, uh, of course. I just, uh, need a moment to process all this. Let's get it done. Alrighty, well, let's go find this artifact. There's definitely going to be a fight, because you can tell the barrier just popped into existence. Let's quick save. It looks like there's Earth Lords. Who did you run into? It's gooifying you. This, 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 this. Let's get going. All the things and Here open up on the Earth Lord. Air elementals. No, that chain lighting really hurt. That chain lighting is still really hurting. Apparently, all of our people are stunned. I'm just standing in the lightning field. I sure am. Looks like our. Titan is taking down that with the three air elemental. Let's just kill it though. Okay. Everything is getting shot at. Everything is dying. Another fire one. Some small guys. The golems really aren't any sort of threat. Treasure chests with uh, some garbage, an elven helmet, and nothing else of value. Oh, some random junk. We don't have all day. Okay. Let's try and avoid the flower situation. Gotcha. There's another chest over here. 
Everyone, please follow. Teleporter and left or right? Let's go right first. Sure, why not? Let's go left first. It's really hard to tell which way you should go first in these situations. Hmm. Let's get going. There's Let's enemies over going. here at the very least. There's a Chaos Essence. They're pretty tough. Out of my way. They have 7,000 health. This don't take as much Chaos Damage, and a lot of our damage has now become Chaos Damage. Adjacent, at least. Let's finish that one off. We've been coming of a lot of things. Let's get a turret up. Get a banner. Reinforcements have started. Nothing's in this direct region, though. Let's kill the Air Lord first. It's gone. It's not dead, but it wandered off somewhere else. Let's shoot the Earth Lord. Another Air Lord. It actually did die. Fire Elemental. Titan. Another turret. Benedict back, another banner. I wonder if Benedict can be retired for another person that does massive damage. Like another ranged person. Like even Cestia with some good damage. Well, we'll see. Because there are probably fights that we need Benedict's tanking ability for. Everything's dead. Let's go grab the chest and also some sure. random loot. Times two. Right. There's something else. Oh, it's a research. The thing we definitely don't need, but we'll still pick up because why not? Let's look around. There needs to be more research things in the game. There's actually way more research than there is. Research tiers to research. Oh. All right. So we did do the left. It is clear. There's nothing else there. find this artifact. I wonder what it's going to be. I'm actually legitimately curious. This is now getting to be more of the game I kind of expected it to be in the beginning. There's a lot of wishy-washiness in the story initially of like what's going on. You don't have all day. But uh, now it's kind of it's getting really Everyone, intriguing. And that's going to go off the stick. Yeah. Well, nothing we can do about that this very second, so... Oh, it's Malachi and, um... We need to move people. Malachi, get out of there, please. Fine, don't get out of there. Whatever. Okay. Shooting that guy. Our, <laughs> our Jin just flew in there and died. It was very weird. Did that flower respawn and is already causing us to shoot each other again? That's very fast. We need another banner. We're gonna die. We should not be shooting ourselves. We need to get a titan. We need to get a gun. We need to get some gin. We need to get some summons. We need to get like this. Benedict, I think, is taking a beating. Benedict is dead. Okay, Ice Golem's dead. Let's just start clearing some of these things out. There's an Air Golem in melee, so let's just nuke that instantly. There's an Earth Golem just eating us alive. Okay, that one's dead. Is there any more Air Elementals? Shooting us in the face. There's an Earth or a Fire Elemental behind us. And Malachi is dead at the moment. That's fine. And that Air Lord should die pretty fast too. Alright, everyone's fine. Here they are. 
Tougher fight than I anticipated, More actually. Mostly way. because we ended up shooting ourselves at the beginning a lot. Be careful! Enemies up ahead! What, what enemies are up ahead? Here they are. Okay. Well, we're out of combat. I don't know why we were in combat to start with, but... Weird. If there's a Healy thing, we're gonna grab it. Let's look around. Oh, come on. Stupid... Flower bullshit. Gotcha. Come on, heal. Malachi did not get to heal. Okay, well, he'll be fine. We'll worry about that later. There is a mining thing over here. He's got, uh, he's got some health. Not much, but it's there nonetheless, I guess. Let's get it done. There's an eyeball and a letter of some sort. Let's do the letter first. The abandoned notebook looks so pristine it couldn't possibly have been an ordinary item in the first place. Even the newest of the books left in wet grass would be ruined in no time. The locals weave magic and said magic is directly related to their plane rather than the Organthe's influence, which, while rare, is completely normal. This greatly improves our chances of luring one of their kind here for our purposes. It's a perfect environment for a parasite to latch onto without being spotted. It's quite honestly baffling how there was no Orcante on Yan yet, or John yet. If I was to believe in luck, I would call this such. Our operation will proceed as planned, and with the Ancient's insight, we should be able to isolate the entity entirely from the outside world, minimizing the side effects of its presence here. Minimizing, but not stopping, apparently, because very clearly things went wrong. Sure. This vault contains the Staff of Elements, a weapon imbued with the essence of primordial nature. More trouble on our oh, way. We're, there's a fight, like, right here. I wasn't paying attention. I was reading things. We have to kill all the Chaos Essence, apparently. Why did this not summon my golem? Summon golem! Is this a boss? I guess technically it could be. We're just chewing it to pieces though. I think there's going to be reinforcements. So I'm just going to focus on the, the Chaos Essence and then we'll deal with the reinforcements themselves. Uh, let's get another Titan up. And another turret up. And some more Jin up. Everyone down here in Jin. So. I'm going to deal with one side at a time. I know there's an ice thing happening here. A lord coming from that way, fire, other stuff. Get the fire one. Okay, last one, I think. Fight's over. Okay. This is it. We've overcome the final obstacle. The reality anchor is nearby. Great. Why are we stopping then? There are more items here that could be of value in our confrontation with the Organte. Nearby barriers protect artifacts of great power. I can breach them, but it will take a considerable amount of my power. I'm afraid we only have time to grab one of them. Choose wisely. All right. What are our options here? There's an ancient chest plate that says, this vault contains the carapace of thorns, an armor enchanted with the ancient power lost to ages. We know that there's the staff. Are those our only two choices? It does appear so. So we can either have Let's look around. stupid flowers. Stop annoying me. I'm trying to figure this out. Um, I guess I'd probably take the staff over the armor, honestly.
just going to double check that there's no other ones. That's the reality anchor. Yeah, it looks like there's only the two options. Okay, yep, let's open up this one. Proteus Staff. Two-handed staff, unique. Bunch of chance of elemental damage. It's got some explosive damage, resistance penetration, all that stuff. It does 40 to each damage type. And its attack is pretty fast. It's really good. I'm going to give that to Kayla. I think that's going to be a direct upgrade for her. Where did it go? Oh, it's right in here. Technically, it looks like her damage has gone down, but I don't think that's the case. I think that DPS is wrong, because it looks like it's doing 160 damage every 0.2 seconds. Well, we'll find out. Everyone, please follow. There's also a treasure chest over here. And that's it. Let's grab the... Well, let's save. Just in case this goes badly. For whatever reason. This is the device that I needed. It's called the Reality Anchor. Without it, the prison that holds the Chain One in place cannot be reinforced. Make sure to keep it close. It looks like an innocent trinket. Inconspicuous means its form served its purpose. Now we can turn towards our goal without postponing it further. So, what's the plan now? I assume the end goal is taking down the claw, but... Now, we need to muster all possible forces. Thankfully, an opportunity has already presented itself. All right. The meeting. Yes. Thanks to your actions, the seed of doubt has already been planted in the warring factions. We need to press this advantage and make them cease their pointless conflict. Only united can we face the evil that threatens us all. That's a bold plan. But now that we've got the Oracle in the flesh, I guess it could actually work. Let's be off then, before the assembly begins. The assembly is definitely going to be attacked. Almost a hundred percent. All right. Well, I think that's it. We can leave. Let me just double check the map. No, I think we're good. Kind of want to try this new staff, but that'll be in the next video. For now, I think we're gonna go back to Free Phoenicia and see if they have any ring, ancient ring patterns and we're gonna hit the city of bones and do the same thing and if neither of them do then i guess we're done trying to craft things because i think we're closing in on the end of the game i'm pretty sure it's going to be over pretty soon it's been a good game so far although there have been frustrating moments for sure i like how there's an empire outpost that doesn't know that their own capital is completely in shambles and there's nothing left. Anything? No, same stuff as last time. That is just annoying. Anyways, alright, I'll leave you here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Now, there's a see you next time. Take care.